we put a lot of new plans in place to help us deal with surges. And, and I think as we've talked in the past, you know, at, at the height of the COVID response, we were running about, you know, 20% over our capacity with the number of patients here in the building. And, and so we, again, we learned a lot during that time about how will we deal with uh, those kinds of surges. And so we have new plans in place. We have uh, alternate areas within the hospital that we can now set up very quickly to care for patients if we need to. Um, we certainly know now about better about how do we stagger or how would we manage um, more elective or non-time sensitive kind of procedures. Um, and, and so I think we're, we're in a much better position today to deal with this because we've been through it once. Um, and so I'm not nearly, you know, I wouldn't sit here and say I'm not worried. I'm not as worried as what I was in March and April. Um, you know, at the end of the day, we're still uh, very reliant on, on folks in our community doing the right things with wearing masks, doing ha good hand hygiene, doing good social distancing. Um, but I would say, you know, as a, as a community, we're doing pretty well. Um, we today have less than 10 COVID patients in the building, um, which is, you know, fantastic. Um, we're seeing fewer cases coming to our emergency department. Um, and, and I think that's a tribute to all of the hard work that not just the health systems in the community have done, but our community itself has done to take this very seriously uh, and try to do the right thing. So uh, we're, we're, in a, we're in a much better place today. And, and again, I think if that kind of surge comes, uh, we'll, we'll be much better prepared to, to manage it.